Greetings, welcome back to Random Tronic. My name is Chris. In today's episode, lasers, soldering and music. And here is the bundle of joy I am talking about. Came all the way from Hong Kong, marked as other module module. And this was sent to me by IC Station. And let's try to find it here on the website. I've promised lasers and music. There we go. This is the kit I will be putting together today. C51, so it's a 51 microcontroller laser harp kit string electronic keyboard kit diy module electric production sensor music controller and as you can see it's 998 if you want to get one in the description of the video i'll post a link it will get you 10 percent off of your first purchase from ic station let's inspect the contents of the package we've got bug in a bug in a bag and here is the interesting stuff it looks like we are supplied with a stick of hot glue, socket for the microcontroller, two PCBs, I think those are the upright, just V-grooved, so we need to break those apart, the seven laser holding module, the main PCB, actually looks really nice, it's double-sided, all nicely described. Here we have the microcontroller, and as you can see, it's seen better days, yeah, it looks like it's been pulled out of something, but hopefully it's still working we have a usb to barrel jack cable that's for power supply a speaker that's nicely collected most of the components to its magnet 0.25 watt 8 ohm some resistors and more some resistors seven laser modules and those are the basic laser modules i've took one of those apart in one of the previous videos the way they're made is just a piece of pcb sandwiched into the housing the big brass housing which holds the optics the collimation lens and yeah there is an edge emitting diode at the end of the pcb the barrel jack connector seven pieces of heat shrink tubing just because it's seven of it i presume it's got something to do with the lasers so i'll put it next to the lasers here a little instruction booklet which we'll have a look at in a moment eight leds not sure why eight but eight three more leds these have got the red and capsulant the other ones as you can see are clear seven photoresistors with its squiggly lines at the top and i think those will be sensing the light from the lasers a little pin header four pin jst socket push button three ceramic capacitors three zero so that 30 picofarads one electrolytic cap 10 microfarads 60 volts chong x brand and a 12 megahertz crystal so those are all the components now we have to learn chinese to read the instructions I think looking at the schematic combined with the silk screen, this will be sufficient to fully understand the workings and principle of operation of this little circuit. That should be quite easy to decipher, even if you're not as fluent in Chinese as I am. Microcontroller, crystal oscillator for generating clock port 1 pins 1, 2 or 0 to 6. This is connected, I believe those will be the lasers, connected with a 1K resistor from VCC to pin, so there will be active low. Port two pins zero to eight is connected to a voltage divider produced with 10K resistors and the photoresistors here. You can see the arrow across them, it's a variable resistor. That's not exactly the symbol for a photoresistor, but I guess that will do. Two switches, I'm quite sure I've seen only one. So there is music and cut, LEDs for indication L, M and H. So those get connected to the microcontroller as well into port three. It would be reasonable to assume that it's a low, medium, high of something. Seven light emitting diodes again. So those could be the lasers and those will be just the regular diodes. Those little laser modules have got an internal resistor incorporated into the casing so they will be constantly on and those will be little leds which will presumably blink when we play music there is two little push buttons i missed one and i almost missed that we've got general purpose pmp 8550 transistor so let's begin the assembly the lowest component first most of the time that falls down to resistors 10 1k 7 across the top and three here 9 10k resistor 7 up top one here and one here and to make sure they stay in place while soldering, I usually just give it a pull and bend the leg outwards from the hole. That keeps it quite nicely in place. This way they all sit quite well in the board and will not move. So let's begin the process. 
I'm gonna use the 0.5 millimeter solder. There's always some legs in a way, but usually what I do, I get to what I can get to without being too adventurous. Then I'll cut off the already soldered leg. And it occasionally happens that I forget to clip on my microphone. Sound was a little bit rubbish over the past minute or so. Lasers and music, who would have thought? They're getting quite creative with those little kits. Not only a few things to put together and make it work, it's also unusual, like this. Let's put in the socket for the microcontroller in after we straighten out all the pins. Align the notch in the case with the notch on the silk screen and try to get all the legs in at the same time which is always an adventure. And soldering that should be somewhat easy because it's sitting on the socket. The important thing to note here it's a double sided PCB and as you can see a lot of those pins on here do not get connected on this side they get connected on the other side so it's important to heat each part long enough and apply enough solder for the solder to flow on both sides. The solder will wick onto the other side and make a proper connection. Right, that's all pretty. I've only just noticed, but the board has got Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si on the, the sound of silence. Time for the rest of the passives, electrolytic caps, some ceramic caps, crystal, transistor, and the power connector. I'm going to tuck in the power connector first, because it is likely to fall out. If you apply enough solder and give it enough time, the solder flows through nicely onto the other side like on this transistor or the electrolytic cap. The solder flew quite nicely. That's the way to do it. The board has got a provision for this little 4-pin pin, pin header, you know, to talk to the micro. I'm not going to put that in because I don't think I will be using that at all. Next, let's put the diodes in the red LEDs. We've got three of those. I thought the LEDs were meant to be high, medium and low, but it turns out to be HWL. I'm not sure if that M is upside down or this is not high, medium, low, it's just high whatever else that is and low or something. And next I was going to solder in the JST connector for the speaker. I've discovered that it's not much, it's the wrong connector. The speaker has got a 2mm pitch and this is 2.54 so 0.1 inch. Not the right connector at all. I'm tempted at this point just because this is not right. Maybe use the leg of an LED and solder those in and use that LED leg seems to be at least the right size of a pin to go into this hole. The other one is much too big it doesn't fit. Yeah so this way it comes off and it can be easily plugged in. From what I saw on the picture of the module, this heat shrink is meant to go onto the photoresistor, just like so, and it's a nice tight fit. This will provide a little bit of shielding for the photoresistor, not to be interfered with by any stray light, it should react only to the laser. I'm going to heat shrink it so it forms a lip around. And I've got a piece of damp cloth, moisture should provide a little bit of heat resistance. Now we can put those in place and the heat shrink should stay on them firmly, permanently in place. That's the idea. So let's solder it in. So this board is almost complete. Just need to now get the little bridge, I guess, assembled from the PCB from this one. I guess the idea is to mount it at a 90 degree angle like so and then apply some solder to hold it in place. Those trucks over here also supply power. We should mount it up like this and are we doing it right so this should be the positive i guess it goes only one way so we can't put it backwards clever so one side is different to the other once we put it in place we can reheat the solder joints and it will straighten itself up it's an interesting way of using the pcb and solder joints as a mechanical construction material so with all the modules soldered in now we have to glue them on with the hot glue and align them so they point directly into the photoresistors. So to do that we need to power it up. CPU is not in yet, but the lasers will light up. Yeah, no problem there. We can aim this in such a way that it points directly into the photoresistor. Hot glue them in place like this. 170 milliamps those seven lasers are drawing at the moment. Nothing else is powered up and they are getting quite hot I must say. I've noticed one of them, which one is it? 
this one here is a lot fainter than the rest of them so yeah that might be a dud already i may have succeeded as you can see this um, laser here on this side is not liking something a little bit sad all the other ones are much brighter I doubt that this is a new processor i think this has been salvaged from something i'm all for recycling and upcycling stuff don't mind that at all Is that gone in? It looks like it has gone in. So let's see if this will switch on just like that or it will require some trickery. Okay, it works even with the weaker laser. Do I dare to plug in the speaker? Everyone's asleep, it's yeah almost midnight. So if this is going to, oh, I can hold the speaker like this. So this way it won't be terrifyingly loud. Okay. Oops. On this side, let's see what the buttons do. It's got some melodies programmed. Okay, so this changes the tone. So we've got different scales. So this is the high scale uh, or medium scale, but the LED doesn't come on this one. That's the high one, and that's the low scale. I think the LED is meant to come on, but yeah, is there 5 volts on that? Oh, I might have soldered it backwards, or is that the LED? This LED is not backwards, I think it's either that or I might have overheated it. Yeah, that's not crucial. horrible this thing is <laughs> so there we go this is the laser music soldering kit from IC station that was fun to make A nice PCB nice kit the only thing I don't like about this is the mounting of those lasers in the frame with hot glue it's yeah they're running a little bit hot yeah for a few pounds that this costs it's not too bad at all very fun kit. Uh, I'm going to give that to my kids tomorrow uh, so they can use it and create music till destruction. If you want to get one of those kits, please make sure to check out the description. There will be a link for some 10% discount code. I believe it's 10%. Thank you very much for joining me on this laser music journey of soldering. And I hope you found it interesting. Now I have to go and get some sleep. So take care.